Well, hello, this is Rochelle and welcome to my channel. Today I'm working with quite a few printables by Ella Roots for December. There is only one release for December, which is on the 1st, so that you can get all your goodies printed before uh, Christmas and work on them through your holidays. So only one release for December, which um, I have an unboxing for, and you can go check that out. I'll link that in the description. So I decided to take um, these words from the printable Love Like Jesus Loves and then also the actual, there's a printable with names, um, Christmas words on it. Um, and I did the Jesus big, tracing it from that printable. So lettering wise, I'm not even going to attempt doing my own. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace and then fill in the the faux calligraphy <laughs> very much faux calligraphy making sure that my spacing is all good which is why i cut out the girls and then just uh, place them at the bottom to kind of be a placeholder i realized that this pen of mine is it's done i'm trying to squeeze the very last juice out of it <laughs> so i'm using variations of the lighter green and the darker green um and i should have probably swapped it around to use the lighter green in the big word because the juice did run out of the other one and that's the first time in what three years that I've had to replace a pen I'm very <laughs> impressed with my fabric style pet artist pens I am working in my interleaved bible this is the ESV translation it's um this interleaved one specifically has a blank page in between each uh, printed page so you've got lots of space to journal if you're working in a traditional uh, journaling bible with the I think it's a two inch mar margin <laughs> I think that's the size in inches um, you can still adapt these printables by either printing them out smaller or uh, using them with a material that you'll still be able to see the words through if that bothers you um, and on that, really, it is a personal preference, your journey and your relationship with uh, Jesus that determines how and what and when and where. Not all of our marriage relationships look the same either. So we should really have grace and mercy for other people um, who do things different to us. Uh, this verse in 1 John 4 verse 7 um, in and it's the same with the one in uh, in Romans, I think it's 28 verse 10. It really encourages us to make allowances for one another's differences. And then on that, to understand that there are many ways to get to the answer 10. It, it could be 2 times 5. It could be 5 plus 5. It could be 4 plus 6. <laughs> it could be 5 times 2. It's not always the same version th that gets you to the correct answer um, and each of our sums are a journey it's a journey that you walk with Jesus so we need to be um, encouraging of one another helping one another loving one another and praying for one another instead of putting one another down because someone else does it differently than you there was a me my soul recently that says don't judge because I sin differently to you <laughs> it's horrible when you think of it but that's that's the thing and we were talking this weekend um, about how so many people are put off Christianity by Christians how they don't want to be Christians because of how judged they feel when they walk into the church and that's not what Jesus says Jesus says in the book of John speaks about it a lot um, that people will know we're his disciples by the love we have for one another and still in this industry I have found more than anything the the judgment between fellow believers between sisters um, the mean things we say of and about each other and behind each other's back oh my goodness it just it actually gets me rattled up and I just want to you know <laughs> scream and shout we have different journeys and that's okay we have 
my relationship with my husband is not the same as your relationship with your husband. Do I have room for improvement? Absolutely. Is my relationship perfect? Absolutely not. Is how I sometimes react right? No, definitely not. Um, mostly, actually, not. <laughs> but that's the thing. I can't compare my spot in my journey with any spot in your journey because we're made different. We're made unique. And I think that's why I love these wonky hearts and the labels, which is another one of the printables or two other printables um, that is also available for the Christmas release um, by Ella on her website. And so I'm just combining and and I want to say almost kind of cluttering the page because it really is. It's such a huge statement to love others like Jesus loves us. Jesus makes allowance for our faults. I actually like the version in or the verse in the Passion Translation um, and how it speaks of trying to outdo one another in kindness. Whereas in the moment, we're trying to outdo one another in competition and in in comparison and trying to be different and better. And I don't know what we're trying to prove, but it's, it's having the opposite e effect than we thought it would. Um, and the effect it has is it pushes people away from Jesus instead of, towards him if you're the only bible that someone ever reads are they going to be pointed to christ or are they going to be pointed away from christ romans 8 is such a full um uh, book and so much about the love of jesus and the extent of the love of jesus and that's carried through the whole book of romans um so not just chapter 8 absolutely the whole book um, and specifically the verse that I wrote in read from the Passion Translation a bit later in this video, <laughs> which is also the key verse that Ella used for this printable. Um, I didn't have space in my Bible for that because um, I'd already journaled there. So I decided to uh, do it on a different page, speaking of God's love, but then reference all of the verses she had referenced on the printable. Always cross-reference your verses. It's always important to not just have little snippets or little morsels, but really understand the fullness of it. So Romans 12 verse 10 speaks of being devoted to tenderly loving our fellow believers as members of one family. It says, try to outdo yourselves in respect and honor of each other. We're not trying to do, outdo ourselves, we're trying to outdo each other. And that is just not what we are called for, and it's not the design that God has for us. He really does have a design of unity. He commands His blessing where there is unity. And so I pray for this Bible Journey community in this time of Christmas, which is a time of unity, um, that we would come together and really uh, reach out to a fellow believer who has put themselves out there to be scrutinized publicly <laughs> let me tell you social media life is not an easy one it's many times has a lot of challenges because there's a lot of judgment out there and um, i really just want to say thank you to each of you who have watched without judgment <laughs> and if you have judged <laughs> i forgive you and uh, I hope you, you understand the heart of it all, behind it all, all the time. Because if it's not about Jesus, if it's about the art, then I've missed it. Um, and I really try to hear from the Lord before I um, speak, just babbling on. So literally just making little clusters of um, ta tabs or uh, labels sorry and little pieces of the printables and hearts and some texture with the martha stewart i think it's the moth no heidi swap mini stapler and um, then adding my little tab for the page and uh, some more dot detail with my white but artist pen and this is a 1.5 nib it's nice and opaque i quite like it and 
just adding some dots to some of the hearts making them pop a little bit more I am gonna take what's or this little uh, pit artist pen and scribble it onto an acrylic block and then pick it up with um, my fan brush and just do some splatters because in the end <laughs> splatters just makes it perfect um, I like the imperfection of the splatters it's it just helps me to let go sometimes my fear of judgment <laughs> there you go thank you so much for watching and for joining me today i hope to see you again soon bye bye